So today I'm going to evaluate our three new ones here for training and then to resell. And I want to show you my evaluation process a little bit. So if you ever go to work with a new horse or you're looking to buy a horse or anything like that, you can kind of see just how I check in with them and see um, where their training's at. Um, I'm going to keep it simple today. I'm not going to do a whole lot with them. It's been raining all night and, and off and on today, so you'll have to excuse the, the muddy horses. And I don't want them to do a whole lot because the ground is wet. But like I said, I just want to kind of see where their training is at. Now for these guys, um, I kind of already have an idea because the gal that I got them from, I trust what she's told me about them. But sometimes when you go to buy a horse, you can't always, you don't know the person that you're buying it from and you can't always trust what they're telling you. So I can move a little bit quicker with these guys because I have a, a pretty good idea of where they're at. But every training method is different. So the way that she may have worked with them might be very different from the way I'm going to work with them. So what I'm looking for is not necessarily for them to know all the cues that I'm going to give them, but what their learning ability is. And when I say learning ability, I'm not talking about like how smart they are, what they were born with, but I'm more so talking about how, um, how, how well do they understand that as a person I'm asking them for things and they may not understand it, but they need to figure it out. And then when I release it or give a reward, then they pick up on it and continue to do that behavior. And so when you have a horse that hasn't been worked with at all, they're, they're not going to understand that at all. They're not going to be, when you try to give them a cue or you put some pressure on, they're going to kind of freak out about it and have, maybe have a little bit of meltdown more or less because they don't know that the pressure means look for something. And so when I assess a horse's learning ability, I, I wanted to see that if when I give them a cue that they're looking for, okay, what's the right answer here? And like I said, they're not going to understand everything I'm asking of them, and that's totally fine. I just want to see where, where, like I said, their learning ability is at, as I call it. So what I'm going to do with him, this is Sam to start with, and he's the 15-year-old halflinger. And I know that he's already broke to ride. He's been a trail horse for a long time. He hasn't been ridden for a while, but I know that he's a really good trail horse. His only vice that I've been told is that he can be a little bit pushy on the ground. So, I haven't had much of a problem with him yet, lead, just leading him to, to be groomed. And he saddled and bridled totally fine. So what I'd like to start with before I go to try to lunge him and move him around a little bit, is I'm going to play with the halter pressure and get him flexing to both sides. See, so like right there, I don't want him to move in front of me, I'm just going to move him back a little bit. Good boy. And I'm up here really close attention to my space, so I'm not going to let him, if he steps towards me, I'm not going to let myself get distracted where I don't notice it. If he starts stepping in towards me, I'm going to move him off. And that's just because, like I said, I kind of got that fair warning that he can be a little bit pushy, and I'd like to break him of that before we try to sell him, because he's super, super sweet. He's not, not aggressive or anything, so I'm not worried about, about that. I just want to give him a little bit better ground manners is all, so when he goes on to his next home, I don't have to deal with that. So I'm going to move him out into the center a little bit and we're going to play with the halter pressure and see if I can get him releasing back and forth and then we will see about lunging him around. Good boy. So I'm going to clip it to the side here and just nicely ask him to tip his head around. Good boy. He actually was very light. Good boy. Now I'm going to see if I can bring his nose around and disengage the hindquarters. Oh, look at how much you know. What a good boy. Now I'll go to the other side. Ooh. I don't want him moving around just yet. Ooh. Ooh. Good boy. I like to wait until I ask. Ooh. Or like them to wait, rather. Ooh. Good boy. Ooh. So just because he, he starts moving around, I'm not going to give it to him because he's anticipating. I'd like to actually see him release to the pressure on the halter. Good boy. Oop. Oop. So I'm going to stay right in the middle here with him. Oop. Give him a couple little bumps on the halter like eight. That's not what I'm wanting. Good. Oop. Oop. Good. I notice when he stops, I'm not going to ask him for something right away because if I ask him for something when he stops, then he's, he's thinking that I don't want him to stop. So I'm going to, when he stops, give him a, a second so he knows that's what I wanted. Oop. Good boy. Now I'm going to ask him to tip his head a little bit. 
good, good boy. Okay, now I'll ask for disengagement. Good job, what a good boy. Okay, now, now right there, he's kind of stepping into me a little bit, so I'll move him back. Good, good boy. And you can see it's not like a real aggressive thing or anything, it's just that I don't think he was ever taught to, that he needed to pay attention to that. So what I'd actually like to do before I start lunging him is maybe work on a little bit of leading, just have him make sure that he stops when I stop. So I'll ask him to walk with me and I want him to stay right by my shoulder. Good boy. And then if I stop, ooh, good, that was actually pretty good. Walk again. And if he doesn't stop, then I have my, my whip and I'll use it up, up uh, on top of his nose. Ooh. Good boy. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, so let's put the lens line on and we'll move him around a little bit and see how it goes. So when you start lunging, especially with the horse that you don't know whether or not they lunge, uh, you don't want to start in like a big field or even in an arena or anything and try lunging them on a line. Start in a round pin um, or like this square area is probably about 50 by 50 or maybe maybe a little bit bigger than that, but it's not like a huge area that he's going to take me skiing if I find out that he doesn't know how to lunge. So what I'm going to do to start off with is if he is pulling on me a little bit, I'll let him get his energy out, not really worry too much about it, let him kind of go to the, the fence, and then I'll gradually start to kind of reel him in, and I want him to stay soft. There should be just a little tiny bit of slack. I don't want the lunge line dragging, okay? If your lunge line is dragging, then you need to pick it up or you need to move your horse out. So I don't want it dragging or having a huge loop in it because that's not safe. But I do want it there to, I don't want it to feel like I'm having to really hunker down and, and hold him, okay? If, if he is pulling on me, when I do start to ask him to kind of wind in, then I'll use some pressure and release, pull and release, and, and, and kind of tug on him a little bit and, and get him to break up that tension a little bit. So I'm going to move him back up here and we'll, we'll get him moving out. boy and you can see it's a little bit bit muddy and slick so I'm not gonna let him totally go crazy but he doesn't look like he's planning on doing that now he can choose the speed for the most part like I said I'm not gonna let him really run and buck 
Um, but he can choose the speed, but I get to choose the direction right now. And that's just in the beginning. Obviously, he'll, you know, I want him to be to the point where I can, can cue the speed as well. But when you're first starting out, don't make too big of a deal about it as long as they're not totally going crazy. But if he wants to change, I'm going to say, nope, I want you to go that way. And, but he's being really, really great on the line. He's not pulling on me at all. He's really staying right, right in the circle that I want him to be in. So I'm really pleased with that. I wasn't sure, I knew he round pinned, but I wasn't sure if he knew how to lunge or not. So I'm really pleased that he's not tugging on me. Okay, now all I'm gonna do is just kind of gradually start to choke up my line and say, woo. Oh, look at how smart you are. Good boy. So I'll give him a second before I send him off because I, I really want to have my, my hoe down good. Good boy. And it has been a while since he's been worked, so that little bit of playfulness in the beginning, I'm, I'm not the least bit concerned about. And it's all, woo, and a little bit there too. But that doesn't worry me at all, because they were all, before I came out, they were playing, and the babies were antagonizing him and getting him running around. So, and like I said, he hasn't been worked for a while, and it's a fresh rainy morning, so I'm not the least bit concerned about him playing and giving the little bucker rear. Good boy. Good job but he has to stay going. And he has to stay going the direction I want him to. He's not allowed to stop just because he wants to. And he stays on a pretty balanced circle. Like he's not really falling out too bad and he's not falling in. And his hind end is tracking right up underneath him. So these are the kinds of things I'm looking for um, in assessing the horse's balance and body and how they move. That's the kind of stuff I like to see. I don't want to see him really pushing in on that on that inside shoulder and making the circle smaller. But I also don't want to see him. I'm going to move him out here, and even if I have to get a little little rough on him and, and give him a couple taps with the whip, I, he's got to stay moving out. He's not allowed to come into me just whenever he wants to. But um, anyway, I like to see the hind end tracking up under him. I don't want to see the hind swinging out, which it's not, other than when he wants to stop, which is normal in the beginning. That's fine. I'll, I'll get him stopping straight here pretty soon. Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to not let him stop where he wants to stop, but I'm going to stop him on the other side. So I just choke up my lunge line. Woo. Nicely done. Good boy. Now on the lunge line, I really prefer them to just stop straight. I don't like them to run into me but um, I'm sure that's probably what he was used to, so that's fine to start out with. And then, whoop, little ahead, back. Good boy. So just little things like that, that as I work with him, he'll get used to not, not being so pushy. Um, ooh, good boy. Good. So, no, 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 no. Back a little, good. And you can use the tail end of your whip, or you can use the handle if you need something that has a little bit more bluntness to it. But yeah, I'm real pleased with how he lunged. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the reins on the bridle and before I get on, I'm gonna just kind of play with the bit a little bit and see how soft he is with that. Now I know that he is broke to drive also and obviously to ride. So I'm expecting him to be real good with the bit. Um, like I said, especially for driving, he shouldn't have any problems with me working with the bit on the ground. But I just wanna check in with him before I get on. So I'm just gonna ask him to tip his nose to the left Good boy, nice and soft, nicely done. Oop. Then I'm gonna ask him to tip his nose to the right. Good, very soft. Now, if he was was hard or real sticky, <laughs> you're such a cookie monster. Um, if he was real sticky about it, then I'd sit here and work on it until he got soft, but he was super, super soft, so that's not a problem at all. Now I'm gonna reach my arm over top of his neck and pick up both reins and ask him to soften to the bit. And he just needs to put his head down. He's thinking about it. And I may give a little wiggle back and forth. Just kind of playing with my pinkies. Ooh. 
คือเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไปแล้วฉันจะเพิ่มขึ้นเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไปแล้วฉันจะเพิ่มขึ้นเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไปแล้วฉันจะเพิ่มขึ้นเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไปแล้วฉันจะเพิ่มขึ้นเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไปแล้วฉันจะเพิ่มขึ้นเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไปแล้วฉันจะเพิ่มขึ้นเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไปแล้วฉันจะเพิ่มขึ้นเมื่อเธอเกิดสิ่งที่ฉันต้องการจะเปลี่ยนแปลงให้เธอไป And it gives them a chance to, to get an idea of what you're asking for. So I'm going to ask again, just to make sure. I'm going to give a little wiggle back and forth. Ooh. Ooh. He's thinking about it. Ask him to tip his nose to the left a little. There, and he softens. I don't give to him. Like I said, don't get yourself in a tug of war, especially when he was, he's real close. Good boy. Ask again. And it's he's not he's really not being real hard on me. He's just not understanding that I want him to put his nose down. So he's not really jerking on me or anything too bad. There he goes, good boy. Good job. Okay, bring him forward and ask him again. Ooh. This time I'll come onto the other side just to change it up a little bit. Good boy. Good job. And one more time. Ooh. Good, perfect. What a good boy. Okay, now I'm going to hop on and, and evaluate him ridden. So I want to be able to bend his head a little bit when I go to get on. And he's thinking I want him to move around, but I'd like him to stay still and just give me his face just a little bit. Good boy. There, tighten my cinch. Nope, he tries to walk off. I'll wait until he stops. Good boy. Good. Nope. Nope. Good boy. Good. Still waiting until he stops, and that's why I've got his head tipped around. Because I don't want him walking off. Good boy. Nope. Hold him. And he hasn't been ridden in a while, so this is not out of the ordinary at all. Good boy. Now I want to be able to tip his nose to the other side without him leaving. Just wait till he stops. And this is first and foremost. Before I go and start trying to move a horse around, wait till he softens. I want to make sure that he can stand first. So if a horse can't stand there and stop, then there's no way that I'm going to move him or let him move. So he stopped, but he's still not softening quite yet. There he goes. Good boy. Now I'm going to tip his nose to the other side. And again, I don't want him walking off. Ooh. Ooh. Good boy. Tip his nose to the right. Wait till he softens. Good boy. Okay, now I'm gonna just see if he'll just stand here for a minute. 
good boy. Okay, now I'll go ahead and ask him to walk. And as I'm walking him, I'm just going to tip his head a little bit to the right. Not a whole lot, but just see if he'll soften to the right and bend a little bit. Good boy. Now I'll tip his head a little bit to the left. And I can tell he's quite a bit softer to the left than he is, is to the right. To the left, he softens right away for me. And then to the right, it kind of had a little bit of a delayed response. Kind of takes him a couple little, little jiggles before he really gives to it. Attention, stay here. Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to ask him to stop. Ooh, good. Not bad at all. Good boy. I put a little bit of pressure on the, the reins, but not much. I'm just going to see if he can move his front end a little bit and do a little turn on the on the haunches. And he's kind of distracted. There he goes. Good boy. Okay, ask him again. Good boy. And this is a new place for him, too. He's only been here a couple days. so I ex And he hasn't even been over to this side yet at all. So this is totally fine. He's not being spooky or anything. He's just walking around a bit. Good. And what I'm asking for, I'm bringing my reins over and I'm putting my outside leg on and I'd like him to just move his front over a step just to kind of cross over a little bit. Good. Doesn't have to be a spin or a rollback or anything. I just want to see that I can move that front a little bit. And he's not being, um, he's not being really light in the front, but he's not being too hard about it either. He's kind of a little bit in, in the middle. He, he could definitely use some improvement but it's not too bad. There he goes, that was better. And if he gets real hard on me, then like what I did a second ago, I'll kind of focus on just getting his head down a little bit and give him to soften to me. Nope. Good. This is an outside leg. There he goes, good. Okay, now I'm going to stop him. Ooh, good job. That time took hardly any pressure at all. I'm going to tip his nose to either side again, but I don't really want him to move. I'd really like him to stand still. He does not pull it on me too bad, but he's not real soft yet either. So I'm just going to hold and wait. Maybe give a little jiggle here and there. There he goes, starts to soften up a little bit. Ask him to the other side. Good, and that time he stays soft. Good boy. Ask him to the right again. Good. 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 Good boy. Okay, now let's just see, because I'm just testing him. I'm gonna have a little bit of pressure on the reins. I'm going to put my left leg on him and see if he'll take a step sideways. I don't know if he knows this or not. I'm just curious. I'll kind of open up this side and encourage him to go off that way. So he obviously doesn't know how to side pass, but this is something we're going to teach him. So I'm just going to keep my leg on until he moves over. Or, since you don't want to be sitting here forever, the other thing you can do is tip their nose around and then ask for a disengagement. So you've still gotten a step over to the right. Good, good boy. So as long as you can get that hind to move over, then you'll get your side pass easy from that. That's really the best way to teach it. Good boy. So now ask again to the same side. If he walks off when I didn't ask him to, I'll back him up. Good boy. Woo. Really? You want to try again? So I'm going to... He's just getting a little frustrated. He just doesn't know what I'm asking. And I'm putting pressure on him and it's just irritating him a little bit. 
He's not trying to be real bad or nothing. So I'm gonna move his hind and get, say like, look, when I get this, put this leg on you, I'd really like that hind to move. Good boy. So now I'm gonna walk him out of it. Stop him. And I'll ask him again. My goodness. Really? <laughs> Part of me almost wonders if he was taught to do that at some point because he certainly is acting like he's doing it on cue with my leg when I put the pressure on. Now he's starting to bump up a little bit. So I'm wondering if maybe somebody thought it was cute and taught him how to do it. Yeah, sorry. So I'm going to keep his head tipped so it's not quite so easy for him to rear. Come on, moving over. Moving over. Good. Good boy. Okay, now I'll ask him to the other side. I don't want him walking off though. And he can just move his hind, it's fine. Good. Ask again. And he'll get it. Usually the side pass is kind of a little bit frustrating for them in the beginning. But right now I'm just, just getting a feel for him. Okay, turn his head around. And if I just get a disengagement, that's fine. As long as I get him moving off that leg. Ooh, good boy. There, good, good boy. Now I just walk him off and give him a break from, from thinking about that. I'll let him just walk. Good job. Now I'll turn him around and I'll ask him again. And um, since he went pretty good off to the left, I'm going to go ahead and ask him to that same side one more time, just kind of solidify that. Because oftentimes the first two or three times I'll do something, it'll be kind of a fluke. And so I want to kind of solidify for him that that is in fact what I want. Good boy! Good. I'll ask him again. Good, perfect, good boy. Good job. Okay, now I'll ask him to go towards the right off of my left leg. Oh, wrong way, try again. <laughs> and this is just all part of them learning it. He's not doing anything out of the ordinary. I'll tip his head though, because I really don't want him goofing off in the front like that. There, good boy. Now I'll let him walk up. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna ask him off my left leg again. Now right there, he walked forward when I didn't want him to, so I'm gonna back him up a few steps. Good. I'll ask him off my left leg, and I got a little bit more left rein and I got his head tipped. So he can't goof off so much, good. It was, that was very slight, there wasn't much to it, but he did give me a little shift over to the right. So I'll ask him again, tip his head a little bit to the left. Perfect, good boy. I don't want him walking off though, he's gotta stay here with me. Good boy. And I'll ask one more time, see if I can get a little bit better. Perfect, good boy. Good job. Okay, now I'm just gonna ask him for a little bit of softness. I don't really want him to move. I've got my legs off of him. 
Good. And I'm sitting square. I just want to see him be able to tip his nose. Good. Much softer on this right rein. But I'm still going to just wait until he stops. Ooh. And he was probably just need to be warmed up a little bit. It was probably maybe a little bit stiffer to that side. And that's fine. Good. Excellent job. Ooh. 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 Good. Nicely done. Okay, so I don't want to do too much with him because it is kind of slick out here. But I'd like to get just a little tiny trot circle going. Just maybe even a couple strides because I'm curious and I'd like to like to see what his trot's like a little bit. So like I said, it's kind of slippery so I don't want to do too much. Good boy. Excellent job. That was a very nice stop from a trot and he's got a beautiful trot. Very, very comfortable for posting or sitting, but it's forward enough that you can get something done. So I'm really pleased with him for his first day considering it has been a long time since he's been ridden consistently. So he's kind of out of shape and out of tune, but we're going to get him, get him shaped up and tuned up a little bit and I think he's going to make a really nice horse. So now I have the almost four-year-old gelding here with me, and he's the, the registered paint. And he's done his groundwork, he's been ground driven, he's been saddled, and he's had about three rides on him. So I'm not going to ride him today because I want to play with him on the ground for a little while first before I try to get on him. But um, he's apparently did a really good job with everything, and they never really had any issues with him. So again, I'm just going to kind of check in today and test him out and see, see what comes up. So I've got a figure eight wrap on him. I'm gonna play with his halter pressure a little bit and some different little groundwork things like that. And then I'm gonna move him out onto the lunge line and just see what we get. Good boy. So I'm gonna clip the lunge line to the square side of his halter. And I'm just gonna ask him to tip his nose this way. Good boy. So I'm kind of having to do a little bit of a, a bumping, but he's given to it. Good boy. I'm going to ask again, see if he'll be a little bit lighter this time. Oh, good job. A little more good. Nicely done. I'll switch over to the other side. Got my lunge line. There we go. Okay. Ask him to soften on this side. Good boy. And same thing, he kind of responded a little bit better to a little give and take with my fingers, but he was pretty soft on it. He didn't really pull on me. So, good boy. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and put it underneath. There we go. And I'll ask his head around again, and this time I'll disengage his hindquarters. Oh, good boy. Excellent job. The other side. So I don't want him to go just yet. Good boy. Mask his head around first. There. Good job. Nicely done. Okay, now I'm going to do a little exercise with him. Good job. Or I'm going to take the lunge line over his head across his back and I'm going to let it drape behind his butt basically but I don't want it to be down on his legs I want it to be kind of right up at the right under the dock of his tail or before his hops good boy and that's exactly what I want to see and he probably had this done before because he knew what to do I want him to follow his nose and not so much be following me good boy good job so he knew what to do with that for sure nicely done now I'd like to see if he'll back up from the top of the nose a little bit. Okay. And just take it one step at a time, press and release. Good boy. Press again. 
and release. Good boy. One more time. Press again. And I'd like him to kind of keep focus. He's wanting to toss his head away from the pressure a little bit. But I'm just going to stay with him. Oh, sorry. And if I need to, I can bring in the whip a little bit. Good boy. Okay, so since it took him a while that time, I'm going to go ahead and ask him again. But he's looking and chewing, so I'll give him a second to think about it. Okay, I'll ask again. Back. Nope. If he tries to toss his head, I'm just going to bring him back to center. Good. Good boy. Give him a second. And then ask again. Perfect. Good boy. Much better response that time. So I'm going to go ahead. He's pretty soft. And so I don't think I'm going to have a whole lot of issues with him on the, on the end of the halter. So I'm going to go ahead and send him off. And he can choose his speed for now. But I choose the direction. Now again, it's kind of slippery, so I'm not going to let him run off and be an idiot. But it doesn't look like we're going to have much problem with that. Good boy. Good job. Okay, now I'm going to ask him to stop. Ooh. Ooh, and I just reel my line in. Ooh. Good boy. Good boy. And he's doing real well. I, do, I don't like him pulling on me or anything, and he's not at all. Good boy. He's just staying right on the circle. That Whatever slack I give him, he's just staying right there on that circle. So that's definitely a huge plus. That means half the work's already done. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, I'll ask him to stop. Ooh. Ooh. And just reel my line in. Ooh. Ooh. Good boy. Good job. Good boy. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set him out the other way. And I'm going to play with, because he's pretty smart from what I've seen of him so far. So I'd like to play with a walk cue and just see what we get. So he can trot around. And then I'm going to go ahead right now and I'll ask him to walk. And if he doesn't come down to walk, which I can't imagine he will because he doesn't know that cue. So then I'll start to kind of play with what, what works best for him. Some horses work best if you jiggle the rope. And some work best if you bump them, some you pull them around or s s make the circle smaller or different things like that. So I'm just going to get to know him a little bit and play with him and see what works. Walk. Walk. Jiggle the rope a little bit and that worked perfect. Walk. So it came down to a walk and I release and he tried it off again. So I just corrected him again and now we've got a walk. Good boy. If he picks up the walk when I didn't ask him to, I'll shake him down again. Walk. Walk. Good. So he's coming down really well when I jiggle the rope, but he's not wanting to stay there. Good boy. Good. Walk. Good. Walk. And every time he comes down to the walk when I ask him to, I'll still tell him he's good and release. But if he goes right back into the trot, then I'll go right back to jiggling the rope. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and change the direction here. And I'm just going to back up. I've already switched hands. Perfect. Good boy. Walk. Good boy. Here, I want him to keep going though. Walk. Good boy. Good. So now that he's committed to the walk, I'll go ahead and ask him to stop. Ooh. 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 Good boy. Good boy. 
All right, I'm pretty pleased with him, and I think he's going to do really good. I'm looking forward to being able to saddle him and ride him in the next couple of, of weeks, definitely. What a good boy. So now I have Pippin, and he's the younger of the two brothers, and I'm going to go ahead and assess him the same way I did the other two. I'll start by clipping the lead rope onto the, uh, the side of the halter and just ask him to tip his nose around. And he's super, super friendly. He's like the first one to run up to you in the pasture and follow you around whatever you're doing. So I think he's going to be really fun to work with. So I'm just going to come to the side and put some pressure on the halter. Good boy. Nicely done. I'll go to the other side. And same thing, just put some pressure on the halter. Good boy. So these guys already know all of this, which means that a lot of the work's already done. Once they can release the pressure that well, then it's just a matter of, of teaching them. Then you're not, not necessarily trying to break them and get them used to the, the ideas of training. And that's like what I talked about with Sam. I'm just kind of assessing right now their learning ability and where they're at. Good boy. Okay, so I'm going to just see if he'll back up from the top of the nose out of curiosity. Good boy. Good. And every time he takes a step, I release. So I push, hold, release, push, release, push, release. Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put the lens line on him and move him around and see what we get. I'm just going to send him off. Good boy. There we go. Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to push him up to a trot. Good. And the ground's pretty hard today. It froze over the night, so he may be a little bit... A little bit touchy, but I'm not going to do too much with him. I just want to move him around and get a chance to assess him a little bit. There he goes, good boy. And he's not really pulling on me. There's not a whole lot of slack in the rope, but he's just following right, right as much slack as I give him. He's just following that line. Now he has to keep moving. Good boy. And I'll go ahead and ask him to come down to a walk. So just like what I did with his brother, I'm going to take a deep breath. Good boy. And he was wanting to come down anyway, so I'm not going to work him too hard if he's uncomfortable because the ground is really hard now. Good boy. He's got to keep moving though. He's not allowed to get distracted. Walk. Walk. Good boy. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and ask him to change directions. I'm going to tighten up my rope and back up. Good boy! Well done. I'll push him up into a trot. And then I'll ask him to walk, take a deep breath, and walk. Good boy! Well done! He has to stay walking and stay the direction I asked him to. Walk. Good boy. Keep moving. Good boy. Well done. I'm going to go ahead and take a deep breath. I'll take a step backwards and ask him to hoo. 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 Good boy. Well done. Good. I don't really like them to turn in towards me on the lunge line, but right at the beginning is totally fine. As long as he stops, I don't really care too much how he stops the first couple times. And then we'll start to work on getting him to stop straight. And what I'll do, you'll see I'll use the rail to get him stopping straight on it. 
but I'm really pleased with him. Now he hasn't been ridden yet. He's two, almost three years old. <laughs> And uh, he's been saddled and ground driven and had some groundwork done with him, so I've been told, but he hasn't been ridden yet. So I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with him.